Question, who's ready for a homemade recipe of my own exclusive, very low fat, very, very cheap to make cheesecake? And I'll be back hopefully in a minute. I say hopefully because this computer has been acting up. Hopefully the intro gets through. Back in a minute. Hopefully. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. We'll work on the intro at another time. Thank you so much for being here on this bonus upload tonight. Hope that everybody's doing well. I decided that I wanted to make a modified lower fat version of cheesecake. Who doesn't like cheesecake? But I didn't use artificial sweeteners because in my opinion, and I'm not a medical person, as far as giving advice in any way, shape, matter, or form. But in my opinion, I believe a person is better off with just a little bit of the real thing as opposed to all that fake stuff. My opinion only. So basically, you're going to preheat your oven. And by the way, this is the cheesecake right behind me, the actual cheesecake made in an 8 by 8 pan. Preheat your oven to 350 Use nonstick spray on your eight by eight. You're gonna take a little bit of a step here. You're going to soften up your Neuf Chafel. I hate to say it, maybe I'm saying it improperly, or Neuf Chatel cheese, which is basically a cream cheese, but I believe it is a lower fat version. And if you don't care about the fat content, then use regular cream cheese. The eight ounce one, I used one block of that. And I softened it. I don't have a microwave. So I softened it on top of my stove for a minute. Just let it soften up so I could work with it better. One eight ounce package of the New Chaffel cheese. I used three eggs. Now, the reason why I use three eggs is because to help it in the rising process. You could use two. You could use three. I use three. A cap full of vanilla. Ground cinnamon to taste. Now, here's where some people may or may not like this idea. Six tablespoons of sugar. You could put a little more. You could put a little less, whatever you like. You could swap it out with those other types of, you know, artificial sugars. I didn't do that. That was not my choice. A splash of milk to help it work out a little bit better. And here's what I did. Instead of making a graham cracker crust, because graham cracker crust involves more sugar to bind it, more fat, butter to glue it together, if you will. And I said, no, because that's extra calories. So I worked with basically cinnamon sugar graham cracker. Now look at the top, look at behind me. I took, you know, those boards, those boards that it comes with, and I broke it up down the line where it's like the skinny cookie. So I believe that four of them equal one board. So just go accordingly. I believe I use three boards, three or four boards, not positive. And what's great about doing that, I just simply placed it on top of the cream cheese batter. And that's all I had to do. So I skipped the step here. It's also easier on your cleanup easier on your ingredients, easier on your budget, and easier on the calories. And if you're really like fussy about having a crust underneath your own cheesecake, once you cut those squares, you know what's cute about this? It helps you also figure out a square to cut, like to cut around it each piece, which is really cute. When you cut out like your little square, just turn it upside down. And guess what? You have your graham cracker crust right under it, if you will kind of get creative. So basically, you know, all the ingredients, you put it together, you put the crackers on the top and you're going to put this in the eight by eight pan, of course. And you're going to bake this. What I did, I baked mine for 25 minutes. Now what traditionally happens, just so as you know, what traditionally happens to make these little cheesecake squares, when you originally take it out of the oven, it's going to be a little bit, you know, higher. 
And of course, it's going to deflate a little bit. It's okay. No big deal. Let it get to about, well, let it cool off about 30 minutes. You could eat it if you wish, still a little warm. Or you could just wrap it up and put it in your refrigerator. And you could cut yourself little squares, one little square at a time. And it satisfies that little bit of a cheesecake type craving. You know, there are many things that we could do that do not break the bank. Let's think about this for a second. The uh, Neufchaffel, I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> that cheese, <laughs> I got it at a good sale price. Six tablespoons of sugar. I don't, you know something, six tablespoons, I'm trying to think really carefully. Was it tablespoons or teaspoons? Whatever it is, you still can control it. Put a little bit in there to taste. You could always add two, but you can't take from. So put a little bit in there to taste before you enter the eggs and see if you, you know, like it like that. And uh, getting back to this, it's so budget friendly. Most people have eggs in their house. Most people have ground cinnamon in their house. Most people have sugar. And even if you did go for the six tablespoons of the sugar, for example, that's not a lot of sugar. Look at all the squares you're going to get. So let's see. You could cut out according to the picture. One, two. Okay, so you could cut at least 12 squares out of this 8x8 eight eight pan. In my opinion, it's a bargain. It just cuts that edge. You know, like when you want that little bit of something, you could doctor it up a little bit. Maybe some people may decide to put, in my opinion, it would, wouldn't hurt to do it. Uh, maybe like a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, a little lemon juice in there. You could get creative. You could swap out, and I have done this, by the way. This is a great, easy swap out. You could use cottage cheese, or you could use ricotta cheese instead of the cream cheese type thing. It still works, and it is so simple. It just hit me. You know, my mother used to love it, God rest her soul, when I used to make her a ricotta, a ricotta uh, uh, cheesecake. It is so easy. Basically, you're doing absolutely the same thing. I had an aunt, bless her soul and heart. She used to, around Easter time, she would do a ricotta cheesecake, but what she would do, she would enter or add, you know, my Janetism, she would add like about a half a cup of cooked rice to that uh, ricotta cheesecake mixture, and it gave it like a little bit of substance. I have to say that was quite good. And she would add cinnamon, and she would add, add nutmeg, and of course vanilla or whatever extract you prefer. The cheese is your blank canvas. You do what you want. I'm saving calories by using nonstick. I save calories with the lower fat cream cheese. I save calories by stop using, uh, crushing the crumbs and adding extra butter and extra sugar. Didn't have to do that. Anyway, give it a whirl if you're interested. And like I said, it's an exclusive recipe and nobody else on planet Earth has it but you. <laughs> so there. I'm not going to do an outro, or should I see if it works? Maybe I'll try the outro and give you a wave. If it doesn't work, I'll just give you a wave. Be right back. Slow and steady wins the race. I must be very winning tonight. <laughs> Sorry about the technical problem, but try the recipe. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you on my regular upload Monday through Friday every single morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. Have an amazing, fantastic night. And I'll be back Tuesday morning at 5 o'clock. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. up again.